Okay, it is COVID-19 and load shedding. So we are going to record this video and post it and ask your questions. We will help. I'm quickly going to reveal all the steps. So we have different tackies. This tacky, I'm going to show from the start again how to wash it. So I dip my tack, my damp fiber cloth in some water. I wet my tacky first. Because of the fact that I'm going to wash it, the wetness will allow the paint to spread easier. I'm going to make use of the color Comfits Blue. I dip my damp cloth, just the edge, the, the section of it in Comfits Blue, spread it evenly on my cloth, but it's a small section. And I wash my tacky with the Comfits Blue. And this allows a very even application with very little paint. And you can make sure you do it evenly, but can you see how far that little paint, bit of paint spreads? Now, if you want to do something funky, you can add more color. So just to a cleaner section of your cloth, use some holiday coral. Dip your cloth in that, and I'm just going to wash here and there with some holiday. Now, holiday is a person. And then just for some more adventure, I'm using Godfrey's Glimpse. There's the color. And I... Just add some darker shadows with that. And this gives a mottled, funky look. Okay, so you can play and use colors that you like and that fits your taste. Now to Funkopash, pieces of paper, tissue paper, even tissues, gift wrapping paper. What I do, I don't dilute my clear glaze. I use it as is. I take an artist brush, and for this workshop, I'm using Prime Art Gold, a 16 millimeter, one six. I first paint some glaze, onto my tacky. The glaze acts as a glue. So I paint some glaze, small sections, only the section where I'm going to stick my paper. I have torn it already just to make the workshop easier. I see where I want to apply this, maybe make it shorter so that it bends smaller, that it bends easier. I dip the paper in my undiluted glaze. You can wear gloves and you can clean your hands with Dettol or with hand sanitizer or wash it immediately after you use the glaze to get it clean easier. I make sure I use my fingers to put it flat, put my hand inside my tacky and make sure the glaze goes everywhere in between underneath and on top of my paper. And I continue this. Get a piece, smaller pieces work easier due to the fact that there's a lot of movement um, and shape in this tacky. Dip in your glaze Paint first with some undiluted glaze onto your fabric. And the more coats of glaze, actually the better. So don't worry that you are going to apply too much glaze. You can't make a mistake by adding too much glaze. And I will just continue like this and make sure it's done nicely, neatly. And once 
This is dry. I will paint a solid coat of glaze, even two coats on top of my paper to make sure it has proper protection. Smaller pieces of paper is better due to all the bend and movement in the tacky. Okay, does this make sense? If you want to, you can even glaze the remainder of your tacky just to make it more stain resistant and easier washable. So I'm just using my cloth of my paint brush and on my already washed tacky, I just apply a coat of glaze for extra protection. Okay, once that is done, you have a beautiful bespoke pair of tackies. How beautiful is that? And there's quite movement in there. You can wear it. You can wear it. And it looks stunning and bespoke big store tackies. Now, if you want to paint solid paints on your tacky, it depends on the fabric and you will very soon realize or notice when it's necessary to wet it with water first or when just to paint solid onto it. Because there's a lot of um, foam inside this tacky actually, I'm going to wet it with some water first. So I just take my cloth, just dampen it with water first. The dampness on the on the fabric allows the paint to spread easier and it actually gives your paint more um, more flexibility. Don't wet um, faux leather. Faux leather needs to be cleaned with lacquer thinners first. And then I'm using the color Godfrey's Glimpse and I'm painting onto my tacky. How beautiful is this color? It's like a Denim, denim color. Okay, now depending on the fabric, one or more coats will be required. Important is to wait in between coats, like when painting furniture. Wait in between coats for the paint coats to dry before you start applying your next coat. Okay, I'm going to stop there so that our video is not too long, that it's easier to upload. Now I'm going to add some Am's rose gold to my tacky. Okay, so I am dipping my paintbrush in Am's rose gold and I'm just adding some metallic flare here and there. And especially on the edges. I always want to create like a patina effect. I'm going to stop there. Okay, the moment you get paint on your, the soles of the shoes, just remove it with a damp cloth that everything remains neat and clean. And then to finish off the Bettina effect, I'm using Nade. That is the third color I'm using on this tacky, is Nade. And I'm just brushing some Nade on. And you can play and use various colors maybe on various sections of your tacky. So for instance, that can maybe be a different color. Here you can do something different. Um, so be adventurous. Let this only inspire you to try and taste something new and funky and creative with your wardrobe. So I'm just painting some, brushing some layers new on and some more rose gold. So I'm playing in between the coats. Now, to have better success, 
wait in between the coats for the paint to dry because then you have more freedom to play with the top color blend more wash away um, than what I'm actually doing I'm trying to save time due to our connection problems okay, but can you see what's happening here and this is fun I actually don't want to stop this is fun and creativity in action okay and then once this is done my favorite part is going to happen so I'm just doing this section of the tacky the rest I'll finish off afterwards and play more Okay, then, okay, so there's my tacky, my wash tacky with Anne's rose gold and Nade and Godfrey's glimpse. I'm now going to dip my paintbrush in Nade and quite a generous amount. Okay, and I hope you can see what's, what I'm going to do now. I'm going to leave it here. And what I do is I keep my finger at the bottom. Are you getting full of paint, Kaylee? <laughs> and then I'm going to use my next color. Let's do it in Naya's new. Sorry, Kaylee, I'll clean you now. What I'm going to do is just, I'm trying not to make dirt to you, Kaylee. I'll do it here, okay. And I'll just splash a few colors until I'm happy and there is the final result once it is dry so here yeah, I'll play more have more fun and uh, when Kaylee is out of the way are you okay <laughs> and there's some inspiration I hope that you you can paint flowers on your tackies you can paint shapes on your tackies don't um, let the creativity stop. Have fun. I hope these few steps helped. If you want to afterwards, you can definitely take a paintbrush, dip it in your glaze and apply a coat of glaze on top of your tacky just to make it more washable and add extra protection. So that can be done and once the glaze has dried, it will dry clear. Just when you paint a very dark color, like for instance matte black or Nayo's new or Danny's day rather dilute your place okay have fun i hope we get this video uploaded have a fabulous week what is left of it and then i'll see see you next week thursday and we'll do some flower pots stay safe stay healthy till next week